Welcome to Summit Awesome Games, good looking people, my name is Rob. We're using the Elgato face cam sent to us by Elgato, mixed with the green screen. I bought a green screen right before they announced the big one. Perfect timing. So, you need Elgato's camera hub to muck around with the settings here. There's no microphone in this camera, so you need your own microphone, and then everything else is controlled in the camera hub. So, 1080p, 60 frames per second. You've got a digital zoom, if you want to muck around with that, I'm just going to leave it because we're going to crop ourselves out and make a funky little frame break webcam look. Picture, you can muck around with your picture here. Sharpness is plus two by default and I can kind of see why. At zero, it, you're a little bit blurry. So plus two is pretty good. Exposure, since we're doing 60 frames per second, you at least want your shutter speed to be one over 120 because Whatever your frame rate is, you should always double your shutter speed to match. And since we're only doing 60, we only need it to be 120. You can switch this off, muck around with the ISO. So this just increases how much brighter your pitch is gonna be. But it also will bring in noise. So the higher it is, the more noisy it's gonna be. I'm just gonna leave that to automatic because we also get some flicker. So we're gonna keep that on. Wire balance, you can switch this on. I've got this room just as like a complete blackout room. So I have control over a whole bunch of different lights in here at different colors. I kind of like this little blue tinge to it because if I do orange, I get really like gingery and I, I'm not a ginger. So I'm gonna keep this a little bit blue to keep my brown hair, but we can set that to automatic and it will balance out a little bit. So noise reduction, you can see the little noise around us. This will just kind of smear that to try and make it look less. I'm not a fan of noise reducing things, so I want to keep that off. If we had flicker, so if we were doing manual exposure, and depending on your light frequency, you may get lines of flicker, or your monitors may be projecting a flickering light onto you. This is where you'd set your hertz to kind of counteract that and get your uh, camera to match it. So I got it off, but what we're going to do is we need to record footage. So way to record is there's no record button in Camera Hub. So we have to jump into a recording software. OBS is a good one, so we'll jump into that. There we are, so now we're in OBS. So we've got a capture device selected and we've selected Elgato Virtual Camera. So in here, so let's say you don't have a green screen and you've got a background you don't like. If you go to your Camera Hub and effects, this is where you can kind of crop yourself out. So this isn't doing it because of the green screen. This is just doing it. It's subject selecting and trying to create a background behind us. You can customize and pick a background, add your own. Or if you want a nice little blur effect like this, that's 100%. All right, that's a big one. So if you've got a background that's got nice lights and stuff that you want to kind of like maintain, then you can use the blur effect to kind of give that depth of field look to it and just have you be the focus. So zero is is blur. Look, you can't read these books when it's blurry on zero percent. So if I choose blur, boom. What books are they? Who knows? So that's all good fun, but let's go to our settings and then go to video. So in here, you want to choose your frames per second to match what you want to record at. So I'm going with 30 because our gameplay is going to be 60 and 30. It's just going to double the frames when we put it into Premiere. It's not a big deal. I don't need to be super smooth, but you can pick 60 if you want. And then basically you have a record folder in your output. You pick where it wants to go. You pick the format you want it to be. So you can choose between all of these. I'm doing MKV, but you can easily do MP4 if you want. I just choose MKV. I like it. Then we go start recording and then boom, you'll record your webcam and then you can capture your gameplay another way. Or if you're streaming, you'd have it all set up and you'd use this footage and adjust the layer and stuff. But we're doing editing, video editing, we're gonna jump into Premiere, muck around with this footage. All right, so this is the look we're gonna recreate in Premiere Pro. So this is a frame break inspired by the Marvel Snap game we play. And then the coloring and stuff is inspired by the art of the Dragon Ball Z game that we're playing. So what we're gonna do, this is our gameplay. Boom. We want to go with that because that's the main focus of the video is the gameplay. And that will set the framing and the frame rate right. And then we can bring us into it with our audio. There we go. So there's us. Happy little guy. 
we go to effects, we search for ultra key. So you can see this is my template. We've already got ultra key found. We'll just drag that over. Pick a color. Obviously we want a green. So we'll go like that. Then I'm gonna go to alpha and have a look. So looking at this, I can see there's some highlights and stuff from our lights, depending on what I've got it set to at the time. Because we're going for a stylized blue highlights and shadow look, kind of affects the green screen a little bit. Not too badly though. So we're gonna go to matte generation and matte cleanup. So I am going to put the pedestal to 100. That's a lot, but just for this, like, cause we're gonna be shrunken down. It's not too important. Uh, I always like to, I'm just gonna crank the contrast up to 100 as well. Why not? There we go. And maybe the midpoint to 75. That's pretty clean. All right, that's not bad. We'll have a look. We didn't really get any halos, which is good. So if you've got any like colored light edges, you could use the choke and you'll see here as I bring this up, see how it kind of like closes in on me. So if you have any issues where there's like white edges around you, you can use the choke, probably not to that much or even that much. I'd go for like a 10, but for us I'd do a five because there's not really much of a highlight. And then what we're gonna do we're gonna do a loose mask here because we're gonna adjust our mask to our framing. We're gonna key out the webcam and stuff. So go boop, boop, boom, boom. Goodbye, microphone, done. All right, there's us, there's us. So I'm gonna put us on layer four. We're gonna go back to our project. We've got a border and a background. So I'm gonna bring our background in. And then we're gonna get our border. We want these below us because we're gonna do a frame break out of them. So it's not the biggest picture, so I'm gonna bring it up 125 or even 150, just to bring it a nice size. I wanna move that over here. That might be a bit big, but you'll get the idea. Then we're gonna take our border over here as well. That's a bit wide, so I'm actually gonna scale it down horizontally or width-wise and bring it down to like that. And then I'm just gonna move it. There's a good placement. So we're gonna zoom in, we'll go 75, we'll bring it over. So on the background picture, I'm actually gonna mask that to the border. It doesn't have to be super accurate because the frame is gonna hide any dodginess to our edges. Then we're gonna bring that feather down to zero. Bring me in there. There's me, happy little guy. Let's bring us down to like 55. Might be a little bit small, a little bit small. Let's go 75. And there we go, I'm gonna sit in there. So I can zoom in a little bit more and really adjust the edging so I'm not like overlapping. But that's not bad, that's pretty good. Maybe a touch down, but we're gonna muck around with the mask now. So that's why I said we had a loose mask. Now we're gonna mask similar to how we did just before. In fact, we're gonna bring this mask over here so we can see that edge. So we're just gonna mask and match the edge of this. Bring that up. Oops, we don't wanna curve it. We can fix that. You hold, grab it and hold Alt or Control. That gives a nice straighter edge. We'll bring that in just like that. It doesn't have to be great. We're gonna cut out the microphone, nice and easy. Oh, I'm grabbing all those little um, adjustment things. That's pretty good, straighten that up. Get the feather to zero again, because we don't want to be like feathering beyond the border. And just like that, we're pretty much set. We're actually gonna bring me down just a smidge. All right, 100%. That is it. Whoops, we're gonna go fit. Boom, there we go. We've broken the frame, as you can see. Looks pretty good. That's how easy it is. And then you can jump into color correction if you want. You can chuck on a look find something that you like. And then yeah, that's it. That's all you've done. That's a bit dark, but yeah, you can muck around with your color correction to suit, to mix you up. Cause you can see I've got a lot of blue and stuff. So I adjust that later, but that's more or less it. That's the whole frame break webcam thing. And then we end up, I got a new background stuff and a little bit of a wider screen. But that's essentially all the steps that I take to make that look. So I do that more or less every video but this is the template so these are already in set and then 
from my previous uh, editing stuff, all I gotta do is just put my webcam in, copy and paste all this stuff, and then I'll just have it straight away done in position. So I'll demo that. If we take me here, there I am, I'm in the way. I go through here, I hold control, I grab all the things that I want because our webcam and our framing and our lighting doesn't change because we're all, we, this whole room is controlled exactly. There's no extra light, there's no windows, there's nothing. Now I just push control V, boom, and I go in place, just like that. See, oh look at that, doubled up nicely. So that's it, that's using the face cam and the green screen to create a frame break.